Oh no, my blood sugar has spiked so much. The human just ate a chocolate. Of course, your sugar levels will spike. No, this means I have diabetes. Having high blood sugar after a meal is not diabetes. Then what is it? Inability to clear that spike is diabetes. A fit person will clear it in 30 minutes. Oh, and in others? It remains high even one to two hours after eating. Why does it remain high? That's because of me. I am supposed to take up almost 80% of the glucose after the humans eat in a meal. But because of years of overnutrition, I have become insulin resistant and cannot do that. Oh, that's why exercise or walking after eating helps improve insulin sensitivity. Exactly. You move, I get unblocked. It's that simple. But then why is fasting glucose high? The human doesn't even eat anything all night. If only fasting glucose is high, that means muscles are fine, but liver has become insulin resistant because of excess fat deposits on it. Okay, so will exercise in the morning make the liver efficient as well? Not as rapidly as the muscles because they directly respond to exercise, but I need a strong calorie deficit to get rid of the extra fat. Which means a lot less of all of these alcohol, sugary drinks with fructose, overeating, fried food, junk food, and so on. And that's why fasting glucose is so difficult to fix. There are three types of sugar abnormalities. Number one, the fasting sugar is high. Number two, the postprandial or one to two hours after eating, that sugar is high. And third, both of these are high. Out of these, the fasting glucose is the hardest to fix. So if your other two types of sugars are abnormal, then please give lifestyle changes a try immediately because they do work do not delay. And if only fasting glucose is high, do not get demotivated if the results are a little slower. Your journey may need to be a little more intense and you may need to give some extra TLC to the liver. Trust the process and do not stop giving it a try.